Hi there, thanks again for joining us at Essential RC. Once again, coming to you from my man cave where I keep all my models. <laughs> so today we're looking again at some small but mighty gadgets from our friends at Toolkit RC. So we'll be looking at the M4 Pocket Balance Charger. Very small unit, but a very mighty unit, very handy. And also we'll be looking at the Toolkit RC SC100 cable. Just a very simple cable, but enables for some very handy features. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the unboxing. So, do the cable first. It's a fairly straightforward affair. So, as you can see, it's the Toolkit RC SC100. And, as you would guess, it is very simply a cable. So it's an XT60 down to a USB-C. Very, very simple, but enables for some handy features. So we'll get into that and explain that in more detail shortly. And here is the M4 Pocket Balance Charger. There we are. And again, nice, neat little unit, simple operation, just click button on the front, your balance port on the side. In the base, you have either an XT30 or you can switch it to an XT60. And this is going to be your output. And for your input, you see you've got an XT60 or a USB-C. So. Let's get into it and see what it can do. Okay, so just reading off some specs here for you. Uh, in terms of the input voltage, uh, you can put anywhere from 7 volts to 25 volts in uh, at a max of 5 amps. Uh, USB protocol is PD, QC, AFC or SCP. Uh, the type of battery that you can charge is either LiPo, LiPo High Voltage, or Life, and you can also do LiPo Storage, uh, and that is for 1 to 4S. Uh, in terms of charge power, you can do it anywhere from 1 amp up to 5 amps at 80 watts, which for something this size, pretty impressive really. Uh, in terms of balance current, uh, we've got max 400 milliamps, uh, again 2 to 4S. Uh, charge accuracy is within 0.5 of a volt, so that's pretty good. And the LCD is IPS 1.54 and 240 by 240 pixels. Okay, so what can it do, I hear you ask? Well. Say, for example, <clears throat> you're at the flying field. I've got a 4S pack here and a 3S pack. <clears throat> now, say, for example, I was done flying my 4S plane, but I wanted another flight of my 3S plane. Well, this one's charged. This one isn't. Be quite frustrating, wouldn't it? So what I can do, I can power the charger with my 4S, like so, and I can use it to charge my 3S. Plug that in there, balance lead in the side there. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get the screen in focus. Very difficult to get it to focus on the camera because the screen is so bright. That's actually a good thing because you can see it on a bright sunny day. There we go. Right. So you see it's locked at the moment. So you press the button to unlock it. And then you can select your voltage at the top, your end voltage where you want it to end up by pressing and holding the button. So I can cycle 4.35 if you have a high voltage LiPo, 3.85 if you want to put it in storage, 3.6, not sure why you'd want to do that, but 
for most lipos you're going to be at 4.2 per cell now in terms of amperage you want to charge at you've got a choice of one amp amp single click for two amp single click again for three amp <clears throat> and another single click for up to five amps of charging. And then what's happening is my 4S pack will now be transferring its charge to my 3S pack. Really handy. Now another feature that you can uh, operate with this charger, you can use a conventional USB plug with a USB-C type lead plugged into the input on the charger plug this into your mains one second bear with me and then we take our pack that needs charging plug it into the output and into the balance and again, press to unlock, press to choose your amperage, and then you can power this small charger from your USB from the mains to charge your LiPo. Now, depending on the available current going in from your USB source will dictate realistically how fast you can charge your lipo now this particular plug i have here is just a basic plug that you get with your mobile phone that sort of thing but you can get higher output uh, usb plugs um, like multi chargers things like that for charging multiple devices all at once i have one indoors um, and that will actually pump out enough current to do whatever you want to on the charger of course, if you want to, another feature you can use with this charger is just use it as a cell checker, just to see how, how your cells are doing, where the voltage is. Yeah, just plug it in the base there and it'll show you where your cells are. Always good practice to really keep on top of your battery health, uh, especially with LiPos. You really do need to look after them and make sure you're never discharging them too low. Now, of course, I hear you asking, well, Carl, this is all well and good, but where does this cable come into it? What can we use that for? Well, what you can use that for, again, you can power the charger via your lipo like so and then you can use this lead to plug into the output of the charger and then i can charge my phone so this is a particularly useful feature if, say, for example, you've come home from the flying field and the, you've got a fully charged LiPo. And what do you do when you've got a fully charged LiPo? You just discharge it. You waste that energy away into the ether. Um, now, you've got to discharge it anyway. So why not put that discharge function to use and turn that energy into charge that you're going to charge your device with anyway? So again another useful feature now of course another way you could use this sc100 cable is plug it into the input port on the charger and then if you had a usb-c device that you could plug that end into you could power the charger with said usb device to then also charge your lipo so that could be handy if you've got a USB power pack or something like that, as long as it does have the USB-C. Uh, I would demonstrate it, but unfortunately mine only has the standard USB, uh, micro USB, not the USB-C. So I can't demonstrate that, but that would be a feature that you could do. 
So again, we all have many USB devices. We do often find ourselves having these uh, power packs, power banks, whatever you want to call them. So if you've got mobile power like that, then you could also charge at the flying field. So on the whole, both this and this, both great devices, simple, small units, but powerful and mighty and very useful. As always with Toolkit RC, brilliant, innovative, simple gadgets that make our life easier. So as always, if you've liked this video, do give us a thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm uh, spreading our videos. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, chances are others will do too. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.